Now it's time to get ready to weld these washers onto the pipe. But you'll notice these washers, if you look closely, they have a zinc coating. They're galvanized washers. Uh, I got these. These are just a bunch of surplus washers I got. But they have the galvanizing on them, so I'm going to take, have to take the galvanizing off before I weld them. The reason being, because if I don't, it'll create zinc fumes and they're poisonous, and I'd rather not get poisoned. So the way I will take these and get the zinc off is I'll go ahead and put them in my acid bath. I have another video showing my acid bath. Um, I could put a link to it and you can watch what it is. All it is is uh, half and half muriatic acid. Put it in a vat. I'll put these in for probably five, ten minutes. It gets all the zinc coating off and wash them off with a baking soda water solution air dry them and they're ready to weld. Also before I weld these they have an oil coating on because it's cold rolled and there's no protection from rust. So what I like to do is I like to just wipe them down with acetone. And then they'll weld a lot nicer. I weld these with TIG that's tungsten inert gas. Uh, it doesn't leave any spatter or mess. You can weld these with a MIG process or stick process. Because I have the TIG process, it's a lot easier to clean. So that's the reason I do it like that. Get these wiped off. And go ahead and recover the washers I have in the acid bath. And we'll get these welded up. Show you how I weld these up. I have a jig made for that, so it makes it much easier. And there's all the washers that I just got uh, finished air drying come out of the acid bath. Get a little closer view. You can see the galvanized one is on the bottom, and all the ones that are washed are on the top, so they don't have a zinc coating anymore, so they'll be safe to weld. I use this setup right here to weld these. Uh, makes it easier than having to measure every one. I know that I want my washer eight and a half inches up from the bottom. So I've cut a piece of uh, one by one by eighth inch angle. I'm going to just tack weld it to my table. Set it there. And then I'll just be able to weld. I just tack weld that. Uh, nothing needs to be very strong. So we'll go do that next. Okay, this is the setup. How I'm going to tack it. So first, I've got to tack this piece onto the table. I have to get my spectacles here. I can't uh, see very well without them. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll just be able to attack this while using the felling rod. I'll just hold it down tight, give it a full pedal, and uh, hopefully my head won't get in the way. Okay, we got her tacked in. Now we'll just go ahead and set our piece in. I clean these washers up a little bit so they would weld a little bit nicer. I just set them there on the table, clamped them down, and used my sander to clean them up. Slide the washer down on there. It fits nice and tight. And I'm going to use a little bit of the rod I'm using is 309 L stainless uh, size 045. Uh, the reason I'm using stainless is because I have a whole lot left from the job that I did and uh, much easier for me to use what I got up. I don't expect to use it anymore. Also, before I get started, I want to get something to prop my hand on. My hands, even though 
I don't have Parkinson's uh, and, and shaky, it's easier for me to, to uh, prop my hand on something to weld. Well, I said I wasn't shaky, but boy, that sure seems so shaky to me. Let me try a different prop and see if this works a little bit better. I guess I could have put this back a little bit further on the table. It would have been easier to prop on. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for the welding. I'll show you about how big of a weld I put on there. See if it'll focus right there. Just a little tack. Just keep it from leaving. Another little tack on that side. That's all I need. If I was using a big welder or a stick welder, I would just put a tack on there. It's nothing structural. It's just to hold it on there. Now I'll get the rest of them put on. Another reason I just like to put a couple little tacks on these is because if you put too much weld metal on them, they would tend to warp and then they won't uh, spin freely in the wind. So you'll only be able to spin very freely once you get them installed in the bearings.